Hey, what's going on, Daniel here. Welcome back to another video. I am back in the United States, in Dallas, Texas, where I will be for the next couple of weeks traveling around the US and spending time with some family and friends. But in this video today, I wanna to talk about an article that I came across on Newsweek, talking about a girl who makes about $11,000 a month while traveling the world as a digital nomad, as a solo female traveler. So the point of this video is not to shed light on how much she makes, but the lessons we can learn from how she's doing it and how you too can do the same. Not saying that you can make $11,000 a month, but at least make enough money to be able to sustain your digital nomad lifestyle. Now I'm just going to go through the article, just summarize some of the things that she talked about and how she's be able to accomplish that just in the space of two months and how she's grown a social media to well over a hundred thousand and now she does a lot of things with that which enabled her to quit our nine five digital marketing job remote job that she had before so louise truman is a 22 year old digital nomad who currently travels the world full-time as a digital nomad but one of the things she did when she wanted to take on this lifestyle was get a job a remote nine to five job now she needed to gain some experience in order to work remotely but after doing that for a while she got a nine to five remote job in digital marketing that allowed her to keep earning money while she started traveling and this is something that I have talked about so much in this channel if you want to start a digital nomad lifestyle you don't have to quit your job you don't have to you know start a business I know this is some of the things that people talk about but if you want to make this very easy for yourself if you want to have the best time of your life traveling don't want to live with stress like I did when I started traveling you want to get a remote nine to five job of course it's not going to be the most easy thing to do but if you put in some concerted effort if you channel your energy right your efforts into the right place i'm pretty sure you will get something maybe you're thinking you don't have the skill for now to get the job that allows you to travel the world full time i talked about it in one of my previous videos some of the things that you can do which is to start learning a jita skill and give yourself a couple of months and start applying to these remote jobs and that's going to give you a good opportunity to land a remote 9 to 5 or if you have a 9 to 5 job right now that you can do remotely you can go talk to your boss and you know see if you can work out an arrangement of course it's going to take a lot of confidence in you to be able to do your duties while you're traveling but if you can prove to them that you can i'm pretty sure they can make it happen so the first thing you want to do is to get a remote 9 to 5 job so after getting a remote 9 to 5 job i'm sure louise didn't just pack up her bags and travel out with across the world what she did was go to a country in Latin America which is Costa Rica and this is one of the things that I also alluded to in the past before if you're trying to become a data nomad the thing that you want to do is not to pack your bags and travel to Southeast Asia to go to Bali because that's where everybody else is going because I've seen this turn out very badly for a lot of people because they go there they don't know anybody they don't speak the language they don't even realize how far away it is so they just pack their bags and after a month they think it doesn't work or they feel lonely or maybe they just you know get beat by some insects or some mosquitoes and they catch dengue fever or something like that and they come back home so you don't want to do that i always recommend that if you're starting out as a nomad you want to go somewhere close to home you want to go somewhere with an established community of data nomads i always recommend traveling to mexico to costa rica or to some south american countries because that is proven it, it's where most data nomads go and that's what i did when i started becoming a data nomad because i went to mexico because there's already an established community and that way i could integrate myself easily and Spanish is one of the easier languages to learn and you will also find people who are very willingly ready to help you so that's what she did she went to Costa Rica she developed a Spanish language and now she proceeded on from there when she got comfortable so I always recommend you to do that when you're just getting started so eventually Louis Truman quit our 9 to 5 marketing job and focused on social media because she actually started posting a lot of her travels on social media on TikTok uh, specifically and she grew very quickly in fact she started posting in January of 2022 and at the time of making this video she's already at 141,000 so when she started posting her travels you know she started getting some brand deals from there brands started contacting her you know paying her money to make content for social media now I'm not saying that everyone can do that but it's also something to consider if you are creatively you know gifted if you are in 
inclined you know to making videos to making TikToks or to making YouTube videos like I'm doing right now you can incorporate that into your long-term strategy of course it's not something that you can do right now that's gonna make you money in the next few days but if you have some time and you can put in some effort into it you are definitely going to see some results for the down the line of course it may not be as fast as Luis has found success but I'm pretty sure that if anyone does it for any you know for long enough they will start seeing some success so now Luis has been able to quit our marketing job and now focusing full-time on creating content for TikTok which I think is really brilliant and Luis revealed that in the last two months alone she's made over eleven thousand dollars as a content creator on just TikTok alone. So that's to tell you that there's a lot of money to be made even as a digital nomad. You don't have to be stuck with a nine to five job or you know to be doing something that you don't naturally want to do. Now Luis has five tips that you should follow if you're trying to become a digital nomad at least from our perspective and some of the tips I think I resonate with so much and the first thing is to run away from anything that looks like multi-level marketing. If anyone's inviting you to join a network in order to make money to travel the world and to do all of these fancy things it's always good on the eye when they talk about these things but most likely you are going to lose money and the second tip you want to share with you is to get a remote job of course like I said earlier it's not going to be easy but if any company is going to trust you to work remotely they need to have a lot of confidence in your ability to deliver on the job which means you need to build your skill and beauty expertise in that subject matter to a level that allows them to trust you so baseline is that you should get a remote job if you're trying to become a digital nomad. And the third tip that Louise asked for you is to network as much as you can. And I can't even stress this enough because a lot of the things that I am enjoying right now in terms of my work, in terms of you know my freelance work that I do for a lot of clients, I've come through networking with people, networking with other digital nomads. Chances are if someone is a digital nomad, if they earn good money while traveling, they probably have a business. And as someone who runs a marketing agency, those are the kind of people that I want to work with. So if, I mean, that does not necessarily have to be your case. So if you do anything, it could be writing, it could be photography, it could be just about anything that earns you money. Chances are the guy next to you who is also a digital nomad knows something about it or knows people who needs your services. And it's very good that you can network with people because sometimes you get into a funk as a digital nomad and things get very dicey you don't you know you feel depressed because these are the things that happen every once in a while as a digital nomad once you have the community that support group around you things get a little bit easier and you can live a much more uh, easier lifestyle as a digital nomad so network as much as you can and the fourth tip that Louise asked for you is to start right now no one in the history of mankind has ever looked back and thought to themselves I wish I had started way later so if you don't start right now you're going to regret it if you have the aspirations to travel if you have the aspirations to see the world as much as you can uh, and Lewis's tip for you is to start right now to so start today even if you fail you're going to learn something and that brings me to the fifth tip that Louise asked for you is that don't be afraid of failure as it is to no match you're going to come across a lot of trials and tribulations and it is your duty it is it, it's become your sacred duty to find solutions to find ways to navigate those uh, tribulations and to find solutions to them so you're going to you know come across a lot of challenges nothing goes as planned especially if you travel the world full-time you just have to be prepared you just have to be ready to face them head on and that should now stop you from living your dream life so if you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing I talk about all sorts of tips and strategies for digital nomads who are actually doing it and people are aspiring to be one and if you also want to listen to conversations with other nomads building businesses and just traveling and living their dream lifestyle consider listening to my podcast inspired by freedom I'll leave it down in the description below anyways my name is Danielle and I will talk to you in the next one